Hi folks, this is Kenneth Price on a Monday morning on a beautiful sunny day in Portland, Oregon. I'm going to post my second video for the day. I prefer the videos when they're outside because it's so beautiful out here. I'm starting a ministry and I've already started it. PsychiatricSobriety.com It's for all the courageous souls who have chosen to exit psychiatry, graduate from the mental health system, and surrender all their pharmaceuticals. I call myself the Psychiatric Shaman. I'm a wounded healer, I'm one of you folks. And I'm gonna title this video, How to Cure Mental Illness. <laughs> and by all, by now we all know, <laughs> pills won't work. <laughs> Here's what will work, folks. Not right there. But you saw from my last video, <laughs> I'm not referring to religions. I'm referring to service, and here's why. So what I'm gonna title this video, Service Cured by Mental Illness. So, as if there's, there's one single formula that will. Well, that's why I posted over, you know, close to 70 videos by now, because it's not one single formula. But there are nuggets, and service is one of the most valuable ones. Listen, here's why service is valuable. Um, not because I'm helping people, no. <laughs> it's ridiculous, I can't help anybody, I've already said that. Um, here's what service does. Um, service comes through a person, Service doesn't come from a person. That's the definition of service. If, if, if a person is doing service, then they're helping. And that's, that's false empathy. What I've learned, folks, is that uh, when... This is why my psychiatric parable is so valuable. It, it leveled my dream character. Can you hear that? It, it diminished and deflated the size of this man's ego. That's one of the things that service has, has afforded me, is, is it comes almost through like a channel. It's when I breathe, and that's why, I, that's why I did this, folks. Because that's where service comes from, a deeper place. The reason I'm posting this video is because I, I may be giving people the false impression that I'm all cured. That's ridiculous. Um, you know, and that's why I don't have a lot of followers. You know, because people think, um, you know, how did you cure? Oh, you didn't get cured. Next! <laughs> you don't have the uh, single pill. Next! <laughs> there is no single pill. Um, when, when I extend myself, folks, um, the dream character steps out of the way. And without the dream character, I feel joy. Now, when... When I go back into my stories, the mental illness returns. And then I figured it out one day, folks, if I just stay in service and continue the open channel, then I'm gonna be in joy instead of pain. It's not a complicated formula. I'm a 12 stepper from way back. Uh, if, you, if you read the, the literature from Bill W, that's his how. That's how he recovered. He never recovered from drugs. Uh, I, I don't know if he took drugs, but Bill W. never recovered from alcoholism. He stayed in service. And because of that, uh, not only was he a way shore, but I, I don't know, I, I think he even came close to the Nobel Peace Prize. Not to say that I would ever want to will the Nobel. You know what? <laughs> As a matter of fact, if anybody gave me the Nobel Peace Prize, I would turn it down because it would give me my mental illness back. No. <laughs> we're, we're not here to, you know, I'm here to deflate the dream character, Kenneth. I'm here to, this is, this is why I, I think I even posted a, a video on the prodigal son. You know, obviously I'm not a religious man because I came out as a gay, you know, as gay in the late eighties, you know, when the environment of the time was, uh, you know, all religions, most religions were quite hostile to us. Um, but I have to refer back to the prodigal son because returning home is surrendering um, I don't even use the word surrender, I want to use the word yield. That's what I make the topic of the video, how I cured my mental illness. I simply uh, just chose to stay in service and life began to unfold organically. The whole time I was in my mental illness, I was trying to make life happen and uh, turn into a complete train wreck. I like to use the word foobar. Fucked up beyond all repair. <laughs> it's humility. You know, I've exposed myself all over Facebook. That was difficult at first, saying, well, if, if I expose uh, my entire story all over the internet and Facebook, what are people gonna think of me? There's my mental illness right there. When I'm worried about what other people will think of me, 
dream character. <laughs> I've said too much. This is going on five minutes. Um, I have a ministry, and I've said the, the, the website before, psychiatricsobriety.com, and I have two Zoom calls, uh, one at 9 a.m. on Sunday mornings and one at 5 p.m. on Wednesday evenings, both Pacific time, where we do this work in community. And this is what's accelerating the end of my mental illness is by extending it all to you. I don't need you to come on board in order that I can become popular. I need you to come on board so we can do this together so that you can, you know, pick up the, the formula and start ending your psychiatric parable and, uh, you know, reduce the need for your dream character and notice the same thing I'm noticing. That whatever channels through beyond that is what, uh, you call it healing and you've heard my, my videos before, I call it emergence. So uh, I want to uh, also leave a link below to the website that I'm building. It's called psych again, psychiatricsobriety.com and I've given myself the label psychiatric shaman because I don't know, I wanted to find a fun name for a fun new dream character. You know my s slogan, how I end all these videos. You've not been damaged. Uh, I hope this explains it a little bit better. You know, when I say you, is it, is it with a, a small Y or a large Y? That's the juggernaut, folks. Who you, capital Y-O-U, has not been damaged. Now, uh, it's just our responsibility to turn around and start going home. When, when the prodigal son, prodigal daughter, uh, turned around and started to go home, uh, had to start surrendering and shedding um, every every piece of the the it's 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 called uh, they call it surrendering. Some people call it yielding. Um, we're just lightening the load here, and if we lighten the load of the dream character, guess what's going to go with the dream character? The mental illnesses they did in my story. If I surrendered the entire dream character, you know, I threw the baggage out the window and one of those uh, suitcases had the word mental illness on it. I'm not reinventing the wheel here, folks. We're coming on eight minutes. Uh, I want to hear from you. Uh, that's my slogan. You've not been damaged. Because who you are is, is uh, you can't damage who you are. That's my story and I'm sticking to it. Eight minutes from Kenneth Price on a Monday morning, and let me do a, a this is my office, by the way. <laughs> I love you all, I wanna hear from you. God bless, bye.